Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a Power BI visual that will make your HR dashboard look so much more professional, explain your data so much better in an easy way. Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a bar of pipe visual with Power BI. So the business scenario for using this chart is like this. Let's say you have an employee data set that has different countries. You have multiple countries and you have multiple departments. And you want to do a headcount pie chart that shows headcount both by country and by job levels. The trick here is that for your headcount in different country, it's almost certain that you're not going to have equal number for in different countries. It's always that one country or a few countries has way more headcount counts and then the others but even in the countries with very small headcount you do still want to show the breakout by job departments so in this scenario this bar of pie chart become really handy because it's dynamic let's say if you want to show United States which has the most population it can click on it and it will show the department breakdown for just United States. And you can basically copy this chart and then put in your actual report for the heads of the United States. And let's say I want to look at Brazil. You just click on Brazil and then it will only show the department breakdown for Brazil. And you can just copy this chart for your head of Brazil. So I think this is very useful for HR dashboard kind of setting. And this is what I want to show you how to do today. So first, to create this chart, let's open Power BI. I have the free version right now. It's updated May 2023, and then you can download it from the link in the description. So when you open it, the first thing you need to do is to uh, import the data. So the data I have already prepared, clean it in um, Excel. It's actually a CSV file. So I can, in Power BI, I will go to Get Data, and then go to CSV. If it's an Excel workbook, then you go to Excel. So data and then it will load the data and then just let it load okay so it's imported and then you can see the data all the entry is listed here and now let's get the pie the bar of pie chart visual it's not already listed in the visualization um, we have to get it and luckily it's free so go to get more visuals it will open up visual table and then you can go to search bar of chart and this data tellers bar of chart and that's what we need and you can just click add into your toolbox and then you will see this icon here and then to create this chart click ok and then click on this icon and then it will show you this which is getting started and then what you need to do is really to drag the data that you want to uh, present into this chart so for example for me i want the hack count so the value i need is the employee id i don't need the sum of employee id i just need a count or distinct count whichever is easier for you the second step now is to drag department into the category so you can see how the hack on distribute by departments and then for the grouping you can drag country into here. So after you drag country, you can see this is actually a very typical pie chart. Also, it's also very typical that in some countries you have a lot more populations, in some countries you have less. So here, the best part is, let's say I want to see how the department breaks down for United States, I can simply click on it. And then all the distribution by department will show for United States. You can see group here. And then let's say if I want to see for Ireland, where I only have nine employees, I can still see the breakdown by department very clearly. And then for Brazil or for Canada, it's very handy. Um, so for this chart, it's dynamic. As you can see, you can either use it in your dashboard and um, present to uh, your management if you need, or you can basically just copy this chart and then export it to PowerPoint or PDF and then send it to the heads of the respective country. So that is how you can make a bar of pie visual in Power BI. Okay, so that is everything I want to share with you today. I hope that you find it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below and I will see you in my next video.